Hello. So we are going to explain some of the exercises related to survival analysis that we can see in chapter 11. So in order to make the exercise, we will just need the survival package. So minor for some plots, G plot two, scales, and a little bit of data that table. Uh, we can get the data from the book uh, package and the format to the data table. So starting with the concept of exercise, for each example, state whether or not the sensory measure means is independent. Justify your answer. A case A. In a study of disease relapse, relapse due to a careless research scientist, all patients who found numbers begin with the number two are lost to follow up. So yeah, it's independent. The number two in the form don't have any relations relation with the disease relapse. So that's a little bit, that's just guessing. So it's no, it's no important. So we can continue the study in that case. In a study of longevity, and uh, for marrying and rock causes all patient ages to achieve 99 years to be lost. We know that those patients are more than 99 years old, but we don't know their exact ages. So in this case, it's false, I think. As when someone is 99 years, is close to the death. That is not the assumption that we want to, to use in this for this analysis. As ordering is a person, has higher chances to die. C. Hospital A conducts a study of longevity. However, very sick patients tend to be transferred to hospital B and are lost to follow up. So in this case, yeah, the point that are very, very sick patients have higher chance to die. So it's, so it's not independent, so it's false again. No, you you do, you are not agree with me, so you don't agree with some of these statements, please let me know. In a study of unemployment duration, the people who find work earlier are less motivated to stay in touch with the study investigators, and therefore they're more likely to be lost to follow up. And also false. Because in this case, sensory time is correlated with the event time. So they, they want to be they want to know if they are getting again a new job. And as soon as they get the new job, we lost the information of them. So it's correlated and it's bad for the story. In a study of pregnancy duration, women who deliver their babies preterm and more likely to do so away from the usual hospital. And those are more likely to be censored relative to the women who deliver full term babies. Uh, false, the sensory time is correlated with the event time. So yeah, because when they, in those cases, uh, those women that are close to to get born to get born uh, go, uh, go out of the study and yeah that's not the independent variable that we want to measure. A researcher wishes uh, the mother non a researcher wishes to mother the number of year of education of the residents in a small town. Residents who enroll in college out of town are more likely to be lost 
to follow up and are also more likely to attend graduate school relative to those who attend to college in town. So in this time, yes, are independent. It's unusual to have a sense of students that don't keep studying. As the stopping year is the event time. Researchers conduct a study of disease-free survival. The time until disease relapses following a treatment. Patients who have no relapse with the within five years are considered to be cruel, correct? And thus the survival time is censored at five years. And in this time is good. After five years, we are the disease is not probably to get to get it back. So it's not like ah they are uh, five years and they and one day after they are getting the, the illness back. No, that doesn't happen. That would be a, a weird case. So yeah, in this case we are getting the, the independent assumption. We wish to model the efficient time for some electrical components. This component can be manufacturing in Ohio or Pittsburgh with no difference in quality. The Ohio factory opened five years ago and so components manufacturing in Ohio are sensory at five years. The Pittsburgh factory opened two years ago so those components are sensory to two years. In this case, it's true. There is no reason to think that the components will fail you just after being censored. We wish to model the feature time of the electrical component made with two different factories, one of which open before the other. We have reason to believe that the components manufacturing the factory that open earlier are higher quality. There's no information related to the data sensory process. So yeah, in that case, I didn't have any, any clue about because uh, they just say that it's higher quality, but they don't specify when it is correlated to sensory or no. So we don't know if, if they, are uh, achieving the assumption. So we conduct a study with four participants who have just purchased cell phones in order to model the time onto phone replacement. The first participant uh, replaces her phone after 1.2 years. The second participant still have not replaced her phone at the end of the two year study period. The third participant changes the phone number and is lost to follow up, but has not yet replaced her phone five years into the story. 1.5 years into the story. The fourth participant replaces her phone after 0 0.2 years. For each of the four participants, as were the following question using the notation introduced in this chapter. So is the participant cell phone re replacement time sensor? Yeah, for, for participant one, no, we have the event time. It will, he, uh, the participant change its form 1.2 years. Yeah, for the second and the third, we don't have the, that time. And yeah, we, we know that the fourth one was, the event happened really close. Right? Is the value of C no? Yeah, either C is the sensory time. So as we have two and three as sensory, we have these two times. Is the event T no? Uh, no, they haven't specified a time fetch, like, how much was the interval of the probability that they want to know? So we don't have this T. Is the value of Y? No. Yes, we know the Y for each of the 
observations. Is the delta no? And yes, it's the same answer to the first one. Uh, for example, to report the 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 k when the k are represented by the uh, each individual time. So as each of these values are unique, so we will have to. I think uh, they want just to represent here is the table. So we have four observations. R represent the number of participants at risk. I think so. Uh, let me share very quick. Yeah, alive and totally mm -hmm. before a replacement. And K represents when someone died. This program makes use of Kaplan Meat Survivor Crew displaying the figure. Uh, 11 9 the raw data they the raw data that went into plotting this well group is given by table this with below table the cover column of the table is no needed for this problem so yeah we have the values here and we can see which of them are sensor and which have is the really bend time. So, and here we can get the whole probability at the end of the quiz. It, it ends in uh, 40%. So the first question is, what is the estimated probability for survival past 50 years? So we already have the numbers here in order. So we just need to use this probability and this probability and get the product of them. So it's 60%. It's 60%. Uh, 50 go, just, we are just have using these values, these three first values, because they are below 50. Right. Write out the analytical expression for the estimated survival function. So he has all the possible probabilities based on the t time. So it ends in 40%. As nobody dies after that. It's question about a function given that the question. So a sketch. So yeah, we we just need to create a data frame and use LBIG plot two in order to create a line plot with this shape. So we start in yeah eighty percent. They start with eighty percent. I don't know why they didn't start with one hundred percent, but that was the exercise they gave. Oh, this is this weird distribution. Then it goes down to 50% and then it goes down to zero to 20%. Ah yeah. This is this doesn't go to zero. I would need to fix that. You know that to see the the sub probability on the zero. And that was the theoretical, that was the more applied theoretical SSI I saw. So I went go. I went straight forward to the apply exercises. So this exercise focus on the brain tumor data, which is the including the in the book package. Plot the cadmium survival group with 
mal minus, plus minus, standard error bands, you see the sub code, so yeah, we just need to subfit, uh, take the time and the status and just relate to one. And just, we can use the EG sub plot in order to get the survival group. We also the, the, the distribution, the distribution of the probabilities. A drama bootstrap sample with m equals to 88 from the pairs of observation and delta. And go to the result, a Kaplan mir supervised group repeat this process with a, a 200 times. Use the result to obtain an estimate, an, esti an estimate of the standard error of the half minute survival curve at each time point. Compare the standard errors obtained. So in this time, we use the SUF summary from the SUF minor. So it's the same to the broom tidy. Um, function so you, you just pick a data frame and I set it as a data table. Then we need to set a zip as this is a random process to apply bootstrap. We define the the resamples, apply the function. For this example, here I am sampling with replacement or the observations. So every time it runs this function, uh, for each re example, I'm, go I'm getting a different data frame. And uh, from that data frame, I'm just taking the standard error of the source by each time. And then just um, uh, join with the original data to compare both the standard error that the sub function estimate and the bootstrap standard error. And we can see here in the plot how we increase the time. Uh, yeah, the, the statistical estimation is overestimating the standard error. And the real standard error is a little bit lower. Fit a cost proportional hazard model that uses all the predictors to predict survival, summarize the main findings. So in this case, we just need to substitute the sub-fit with the cost pH and substitute the one with a point. So in that, with that, we are using all the predictors. By checking the statistic summary, we can see that it's someone was has a diagnosis with H, Y, glioma, have more probability to die than other diagnostics. And the difference has a it's significant, so it's not by chance. It, it's a uh, really important. So in this, this is doesn't matter. But this radio, the key I, yeah. If you uh, higher you have this value, you have less probability to die. That that may be the, the most, and also that is statistically significant as well as the, the regression as a whole. Statify by the value of key since only one observation has 40, you can group that observation together with the observation of key, of key I 60 plus the Kafra means survival tools for each of the five strata, adjusted the other 
credit. So the point that they want to see every pool in this way. So to make that possible, yeah, I create a grid. Uh, just uh, picking all the, what you need to do is to create a data frame with the same columns to the original data, but just taking all the columns, the other columns that you don't want to analyze as a, a static value. So you could just write each column and just select one of the values. So in this case, I'm just picking the first value of each column. And, I, and that's the only value I'm, I'm using. So yeah, it's basically when you say, oh, you need to keep all const, all the other variables constant. Yeah, you are creating a data frame when the only variable or the only predictor that change is the one that you want to see in the here in the in your chart. Then you just need to run the the surfeed with the cost model, add the data, add the new data, the grid that you created is the new data. And then you just need to use the plot function and add the layer with the with the labels, with the levels of the factors. And that's how we get here. So and the results are consistent with what we saw with, with this factor. People with 100 value have lower probabilities to die than people in 90, that is the red pool, in 80, the blue pool, 70, yeah. And what someone with 60 will have the highest chances to die. or the lowest to survive. <laughs> that, that's maybe the, the correct way to say it. The lowest probability to survive. The sample makes use of the data, uh, this data for the next exercise. So we just need to pick the G values that we already created. And we just pick the, the names to the status and put as an integer and you'll be on a, to add the predictor that it adds. And we just create a factor that is under or that's under two. We create a super function just based on this factor and create the plot. Uh, and we can see that, yeah, it's like no, no significant. It, both curves are really close to each other, so you know, can see that it's an important difference. And yeah, uh, we can see also the statistical test for for this uh, for this analysis. Yeah, and um, it's not significant, even though they say that people with true has a little bit more chance to die. So we can see here, yeah, it, it is a little bit lower for each step, but it's not significant. And that was the exercise. I know you have any doubts related. No, that's for now. Okay, right. Uh, you can find these exercises in the, yeah, in the shared link. It's here in the group. So uh, you go here, SWOT analysis. And then you will be, uh, you, you will see the exercise part here. If you want to see it later. And that's it. So see you next week. Let me end this, this chat.